Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. We're talking about the road noise reduction kit from the Model Y today. So, first of all, adhesive promoter. If you receive these in your packet, use one for each side of the car, wipe down all of the ceiling areas. If you have the newer version or the older version, where we have it all wrapped up in a nice towel with some scissors, again, 3M adhesive promoter. This is 94 primer. Okay, so whether or not you have the primer with the paintbrush installation method or the double-sided uh, wet wipe, just wipe off everything where it's gonna be applied to, all of the ceiling area. Again, this is only on the inside of the doors. It won't affect your paint and it's adhesive promoter. Okay, now let's move on to the Model Y to explain to everybody what's gonna happen. We've laid all 10 pieces out around the car. We're gonna show you that it's no different than doing a Model 3. So the kit is exactly the same. Um, we'll start off here in the trunk real quick. So in the trunk piece, you're gonna, in the trunk bag, you're gonna find three pieces. Uh, two for the sides and one that's longer for the middle. It's really easy to do. Just simply take the middle of it and start right by the hatch in the back, fold it in half, peel off the backing tape and simply apply it right here. You're gonna work yourself all the way around as far as it will reach. And again, this is gonna reduce noise from coming into the back. When you do the side pieces, you're simply gonna start down here after you clean it and apply the adhesive promoter, peel it back, run it all the way down around to here, cut the excess off with the scissors we gave you and do the same on the driver's side. All right, let's move over to the back doors. Okay, we wanna talk about the back door. Learning right from left is a little bit confusing and uh, we wanna take a quick second to show everybody. So these, of course, are mirrored, and these are the top pieces. You wouldn't want to open your door and see an open-ended, hollow, sponge rubber um, piece. So these go on the top of the doors. Now, you have to determine which one is left and which one is right. The right side of the car, the passenger side of the car, think of it like this. When you get to the bottom of the car, and this is against the car, you want this to seal as it's hanging down. So you wouldn't want water to accumulate in it. So we always say, start here like this, and imagine that this is gonna close when the door closes, pinch the opened end extrusion. So we suggest you start at the top, okay? So you start at the top here, stick it on, so it's not hanging over the edge. You don't wanna see it. So start inside the lip, just like this, run it all the way down. And then when you get to the very end, you'll have about six to eight inches extra and you'll be all stuck on the door and the door will close so much more solid than it is. And don't forget, you're gonna have two seals, double seal protection sound. And again, this will keep your car cleaner. You're not gonna get water in here because it's gonna be sealed from here all the way down and around all the way up. Thanks again, and now let's move on to the front doors and the B pillar. Is in the Model 3, runs straight down the side. Again, right and left issues. So you look for the closed end. And again, this is the open end. So these are the bottoms. These are the tops. And again, take a look at where the tape's located. This is gonna fit right over it like this and you see there's a nice lip on it so this is really cool um, this is the open end and this is the lip so this is going to fit right on here so you're going to clean the edge and then apply the adhesive and slip it right on like this and start all the way at the top so we have a little improvement now with the hold on lip you can see that so you're gonna put it right at the very top. So look very, very, very factory or OEM. Run it all the way down and it'll hold on nicely and it'll bite. Then when you get to the bottom here, right here, just simply cut it across 
on this angle. Okay, that's the B pillar on the Model Y. And now for the front door. Now, this is of course the front of the car and wind is always flying by here. So this gap, uh, a lot of wind noise is created, mostly at higher speeds. Um, so you'll notice here we have the whole door seal and this is for the bottom of the doors. So again, this is for one side, this is another. These are molded and spliced together. And uh, we just back up and open up the door. So these go on just like the instructions for the Model 3. You just plop down on the ground. You're gonna start at the very bottom and you gotta pick right from left door. So obviously this is the passenger side because it has the thin side running up the door and the fat seal for the bottom on the bottom of the door. So again, clean it, prep it, peel off the double-sided tape. Again, don't let it hang out the bottom. Right about there is perfect. And it's gonna seal right against here. And we do have these very nice uh, running boards. So even if it's low, it won't be exposed because of the Model Y and these uh, great pieces here. All right. Um, so this is the driver's side. The other side will be the passenger side. And let's move on to the A-pillar. Now the A-pillar oftentimes is the hardest piece for everybody, but let's show everybody again real quick how it works on the Model Y. Now this piece, it's nice on the Y because the doors open so much. So, This piece, you're going to determine right and left. So once again, these are exactly the same for both sides. And it doesn't make a difference which one you use because you'll use one on one side and one on the other. So these fit universal right and left. For the inside of the door edge, it's just like the Model 3. You're going to peel back the backing tape. Make sure that the red tape is on the left side. And this goes right inside the door. So right after you clean it, you're going to make sure that you use the adhesive promoter. And this has to be run down the inside door edge all the way down and behind the hinge and position it in different locations, closing the door a little bit. You have to get your hands inside. It's a very hard one to put on. Honestly, some people just don't use it. But take a look over here. I want to show you the function of it and how it really quiets the sound out. So, you can see right now, the fender and the door, pretty big gap here. This is gonna put a seal in here to not allow wind to accumulate and create the effect. And you can see it's gonna fit all the way to the bottom. And by placing it on the inside lip like this, of the door, just like that, you're gonna see when you close the door, this is gonna go behind the fender. So it's gonna block wind from coming in here. All right, so that's the uh, A pillar. And last is the front trunk. Now we all know the front trunk is huge in the Model Y. And we have one large piece. So it's very simple to do. Simply peel off the backing tape. You can start at one end or the other, but my video here is just to show you there's enough material to do the whole car. So you'll notice starting at the latch right here and going to the right, goes all the way around this lip. It's gonna make a nice bulb seal and really keep a lot of water and dirt out of here. All the way down all the way to the end and again what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to install this on the y we're going to include it in the video we're going to show everybody what it looks like and we're going to show how the doors all open and close with this installed on the brand new 2020 tesla model y okay model y road noise reduction kit everything's installed let's check it out 
we're gonna run through it real quick and show everybody. This is the front trunk or the frunk. And notice the seal, I'll do the pointing all the way down, all the way around, all the way to the other side, one full piece. This really keeps out sound noise. And let's close it and show you. No uh, more difficult to close. You can still use three fingers to close it. Perfect. Driver's door, let's go. Driver's door now is like the rear door. It has a double seal running all the way down, and all the way across, in addition to the Tesla OEM seal. So we have double door seals. And look at how easy it closes. You don't have to slam the door or anything. Closes nice and solid. Back door, same thing. The double lip seal or the bulb seal. You can see it from the side angle, what this is actually doing. This is getting compressed and pinched to really keep noise out. And when you close the door, when you close the door, the seal is visible inside. You just don't see the paint. So you see the black seal and it really makes it quiet. Look at how thick this is running all the way down and around. So again, double seals, one RPM, one from Tesla, and then the actual door window seal all the way around as well. So we're sealing it up, making them quieter. Okay, trunk. Trunk is three pieces again. The main seal starts here, goes all the way to here. You see that from wide angle on both sides. So this bulb runs all the way around, about seven feet. Then you've got a seal for the upper arms of the trunk, starting at the very top of the roof and running all the way down here. And watch how it closes with the power standard lift gate. No issues closing, except for a license plate bounce. 